it kind of makes you wonder would religious people go as far as to convert as many people as possible not just because of control but also because they're being threatened by atheism and agnosticism and the reason why they're threatened is because it's on the rise and more and more people are becoming free thinkers instead of mind controlled slaves into a bullshit belief. Hello everyone, once again this is Dare to Speak. I've been doing some research and talking to some people and it seems way too obvious to me because of the way things are going with all the things that are happening right now. The things that I've been noticing mostly for the most part was it seems to me with um, atheism and agnosticism being on the rise that somehow we're becoming a threat a serious threat to the religious institution which I know we are but I don't know to what degree. And <clears throat> I just found out to what degree just by having some debates with some people that I had today. <clears throat> Excuse me. And also, as well as yesterday, when um, in the middle of the conversation I said that we don't need to have God in order to have compassion, in order to be civilized, in order to be happy, in order to be a good person, a kind-hearted person, a thoughtful person. You could be that way regardless of whether you're religious or not. And this Christian fundamentalists were saying, no, that's not true. You need Jesus. You need God. Otherwise, Satan will take over and, and you'll become a bad person. You'll become tempted by all these evils that are all around you. And then started mentioning about all these kind of things that, um, that according to her, is sinful. Now... The ignorance of this woman is just so, it's beyond stupid. So in the middle of the conversation when I was um, contradicting her, she, she, got, she got annoyed and she walked away and stuff like that. But then she started saying, well, I know that I'm going to go to heaven, but I'm going to pray for you. Because Satan is, is, is poisoning your mind and this and that and all that's kind of... I mean, she she was a black woman, but, you know, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not trying to be racist or anything like that, but well, she's one of those, like, uh, extremely country bumpkin, ghetto type of, uh, type of woman. And, um... But that's just how, how she is. And there was a couple of people that were... That were um, in there, they were like, they were trying, they were basically taking her side. I mean, it's just to be expected, you know, but I noticed that 
more and more effort. There's a lot of um, people that approach other people trying to talk to them about Jesus and talk to them about um, religion, trying to, like they're trying to make this massive, this huge massive effort into converting as many people as possible. And if they don't need to do that, if they don't feel any kind of, any kind of threat, I think, suspicion-wise, they wouldn't go to this, to this level, to this degree. But they're putting massive effort into, into converting as many people as possible because they are being threatened by atheism and agnosticism. They're threatened by free thinkers, basically. And I think they're just pathetic. There's no longer a choice anymore. More, more people are trying to find sneaky, underhanded ways to convert people by any means necessary. And to me, that's wrong. It's very wrong. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Questions or comments, you know what to do. And this is Dare to Speak. And to all of you, take care.